Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a module called Users Online. This is a module, this is a, this is a dot that took project and it's open source. So this module, it was used up until uh, the the previous uh, version of .netook website, and it used to show how many users uh, were registered today, yesterday, in total. It would show user number of users online as well. So this is the module that I'm talking about. I'm gonna fir first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna download the module from .netook. So I'm here in .netook website. So I'm gonna click download, and from here. I can click on projects download. Now I can scroll down and I can find users online module and I'm going to select uh, the version 501 which um, I'm assuming it's for DNN5 upward and I'm going to save the installation package which is right here. So I'm gonna agree to this I'm going to save it locally. I'm just going to copy the location. Now I'm going to go back to my website, my test website. I'm going to log in as super user to install the module. And from here, I can click on host, module definitions, and then in the action menu, and then click on install module. I'm going to click Browse, Users Online, this is installation package, click Open, click Next, then click Next again, and Next again, accept license and hit Next. So from here, let's see if everything went fine, installation successful, click Return. Now from here, let's scroll all the way down and see if it's there. So users online is in the list of installed modules. Now let's go to the home page and let's make a, a quick test. Let's add this module to the top of the page so we can play around with it a little bit. So let's select from the module drop down. let's select users online, click add module. So here is what we have. It's telling me that uh, the latest member to join the website is called John. This was in the past 24 hours. One user uh, have, has registered. Zero users in the previous 24 hours. Overall, two users, which is basically admin and John that I have just registered. Here under people online, it shows the number of people, the, the, the persons that are online, the people that are online. And online now, it would list the names of the users that are online. Just only if I have selected, so only if I have set it up to do that. Let's have a look at the settings of this module. Under the action menu, let's go to settings. Then from here, let's scroll all the way down. Then let's take care of that already. At the very top, it, it says module status. Users online is currently disabled under host settings and is currently disabled under scheduler as well. So let's enable both of them. Now, one, one important note. You don't want to make your site slower or anything like that. But, uh, and I'm not saying that this module will do that, although it will it will increase a little bit the overhead, the overhead of things that uh, your website has to do. So I'm a bit against uh, doing things that will, even if it if it might be for a little bit, but it, that will slow your site down. Again, this is not significant at all. But of course, everything that you add to your site will add up in terms of performance as well. But uh, in any case, I'm going to show how you can activate the scheduler and the host settings as well. Now, if you do have uh, performance issues with your website, maybe due to other factors, maybe you will not want this module to be activated. But again, my duty today is really to show how you can make it, 
you can put it to work. So let's go first under host settings to activate this setting there. Host, host settings. And then you can just scroll all the way down under other settings, select the option that says enable users online. Check this option, click update. Then from the host menu again, let's go to the schedule option. And from here, let's select the option that says purge users online. Actually, this is already checked. I may have done that before, but if if this option if this option is not checked, you can come to edit and then check it under yes. So let's click it. Let's click update. Let's see if now that we have done both places, we have changed the both both places. Even though this one was already changed, let's go back to the home page and see how it's looking like now. Let's go back to the action menu and settings. Now, if we scroll all the way down, perfect. So, module status, it's telling that it's okay. Uh, so, the module should be working fine now. Now, a couple of options here. You can display the name, the username, first name, last name, full name. Let's keep it display name. You can um, use some prefix. You can also show uh, super users as well. For instance, admin users and host users as well. So I'm going to check this for now. Show membership, show people online, show users online. Again, you have options to check, check in or to, to check or uncheck those options. Let's keep everything checked. Let's hit update. Now, it's showing me that people online, there's one person online, which is myself. I mean, I'm a super user and I'm showing up here. And under online now, it's showing just myself. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open another browser. I'm going to open uh, Internet Explorer with this site loaded. And I'm going to have a look how it's looking like now there. So now it's showing again, super user account is logged in. And it's only, it's only showing that people online right now, there's just one member online and total people, total number of, uh, of people online is just one. Now, most likely this will get updated after a minute, after the schedule runs, because I'm visiting the page right now, not logged in. So if I refresh this, eventually this will show that I'm uh, a visitor as well. So as you can see here, visitor is showing one. Again, this will only get, this information will only get updated once the scheduler runs, which is right now set up to run every, let's have a look there, every, every minute. So this information in the homepage right now will only get updated every minute. So we have to wait a minute for that information to be refreshed. For instance, if I go back to Internet Explorer, if I log in as John, let's try to log in and then password. So if I log in now, it still show that online now there is just one person, but now there are two uh, online. But again, we have to wait for we have to wait one minute for that information to be updated. I'm just going to pause the video and come back in a second. So as you can see now, the scheduler has run and I can see that there are two people now uh, logged in. So this is a quick overview of how we can use the users online module to show the number of total people registering your website, people online, even the name of the people that are online right now. Again, might, it might be useful here and there, but you have to be uh, concerned about performance issues. Not that this will impact much, but again, it's one more thing that you, that you adapt to your site that can impact a little bit. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.